First off, I want to explain the pillowcase. I want to remain anonymous to the cyberbullying and all those things. So basically, I have one simple point today to all the viewers, and that is atheism is a bunch of crap, okay? Okay, I found this guy and just had to respond before his video went viral as the next red hat preacher man. It's garbage, okay? It's fucking garbage. Jesus is the only way, okay? That is the message of the Bible. That is his only message. God wants you on his side. No, there are plenty of other messages in the Bible. But as far as Jesus being the only way and God wanting me on his side, I have to ask why. Let's pretend that the God of the Bible is real for a moment and try to figure out why an all-powerful being would even need me, let alone want me on his side. His side of what? Is there another all-powerful being out there that is against God? If so, how come we don't get to hear his message? Maybe his message is better. Maybe God's adversary offers unlimited pizza rolls and full body massages from beautiful women while I get to watch funny YouTube animal videos for all of eternity just for not believing in the God of the Bible. I mean, who can get enough pizza rolls and stupid cats running into glass doors or falling off TVs? He doesn't want you not believing. He needs you on his side, okay? This is why we have so much shootings in our schools. We took prayer out of school. We took prayer out of schools? Actually, no, we didn't. We just do our best to keep it out of public schools. It was Catholics and Jews who took it out of schools, and rightly so. The first case the U.S. Supreme Court ruled on when it comes to prayer in school was Ingle v. Vitale in 1962, when a bunch of Jewish families got together to sue New York for not upholding the Establishment Clause of the First Amendment. Another ruling a year later in 1963 occurred in the Abington School District v. Shemp case. Edward Shemp's child, Elroy Shemp, was being forced to hear and read portions of the Bible as part of their public school education. Shemp was a Unitarian Universalist, which has its roots in Christianity. Before both of these, in 1890, in the Wisconsin Supreme Court, the Catholics won their case against the reading of the King James Bible in public schools. Only a single atheist is given any kind of credit for taking religion out of school, and that is Madeline Murray O'Hare, and her case ended official Bible reading in public school. As far as blaming the school shootings on the lack of prayer in school, that is naive at best. School shootings occur for a number of reasons, and even if prayer and your God were allowed to be injected into public schools, they would still have occurred. These are all the problems we have, okay? This is what it means. We need you guys, the younger generation, to start picking up those Bibles and praising our Lord and Savior, okay? No, what we need is for them to start picking up science, math, literature, and biographies of great people who actually existed, and other non-fiction books. The Bible is not the end-all to human suffering and evil. If it were, we'd have seen it do that by now, especially when Christianity held all the power. But we didn't even see it then, did we? No, we saw Christians causing suffering through inquisitions and crusades. Religion has been given long enough to show its merits, and it has been found insufficient and obsolete. Only through proper education and developing human empathy can we even hope to end the human-caused suffering and death in our country and world. And as you are making quite evident, we will not even get to really doing that until religion is kept in check or even done away with. I'm so sick of this liberal media bullshit, okay? Telling people... It's okay to not believe in God. Okay. You want to know the truth? It isn't okay. okay. I'm sick of people telling me it's not okay to think how I want to think. I'm sick of people telling me that I am wrong when they can't even present a real and worthy argument that even comes close to showing me I am wrong. But most of all, I'm sick of people trying to force their religion onto other people. That is called theocratic tyranny. And as I've said in the past, I'll have none of it. God doesn't have a gray zone, okay? You can believe in God, you go to heaven. Don't believe in him, go to hell. Or I can keep not believing until you've presented evidence to show that he is real. Or I can keep not believing and go to his adversary's afterlife and enjoy an eternal massage and unlimited pizza rolls and funny animal videos. Okay, you can keep believing that there is no God as an atheist. Okay, I can choose to believe that he's real. Go out there and you can seek him. Okay, but all I can tell you, atheism, is that you're wrong. 
You know one reason why you're wrong is because, in your beliefs, there's no afterlife and there's no heaven. No, in my opinion, you have not presented any evidence that there is an afterlife or hell, so therefore I see no reason to believe your claims that there is an afterlife or hell. Moreover, belief isn't even the right word. It is a lack of belief, disbelief, if you will, of your unproven claims. You know what that means, guys? You know what that means, I guess? That means that the very worst where you guys are going to come from, okay? You can see it in cloud music. <laughs> you can see it in cloud music, okay? That's the fact. Seeing you are incapable of any kind of coherency in that statement, I have no way of refuting what you call a fact. Millions of the Nazis, millions more than the Nazis would go, excuse me, be slotted by communists who believe that there was no heaven, okay? Are you okay? Calm down a bit. Steady your breathing before you keel over from lack of oxygen there, guy. That's why it was so heartless and cruel, okay? Because they didn't believe there was a hell, okay? So that's a reality, right? That's reality. Reality check for all you, right? Stick with Jesus. That's the only thing. God bless. I guess you were saying that the communists and the Nazis were so heartless and cruel because they didn't believe they'd go to hell. While this may be true for some, it certainly wasn't the case for the majority. In fact, the Nazis were mostly Catholics. Not that it is even relevant. They were cruel because they sought power, and through cruelty were able to get that power much like the Christians of old when they were performing inquisitions and crusades. The religion was irrelevant in the case of the Nazis, other than the fact that it was used to sway Catholics to Hitler's side. This whole argument is nonsense. Lack of belief in consequences is not a reason for doing something. In fact, when anyone does anything, it is because they have an expected consequence to that action. As far as eternal consequences after death are concerned, you have still failed to show that they exist and therefore have failed to show that they are the reason to do good. In fact, your whole argument works against your point because to a listener, it seems you are saying that eternal consequences are the only reason to not be a complete shit. Which is why I guess you feel it is okay to be a complete shit on YouTube, because you falsely believe you are anonymous when your account is still under your real name.